Hey guys, Halton, add Firebase to your Android project. Firebase is a very powerful system which allow you to analyze your application, allow to build your application with cloud storage, allow you to monitor your crashes, allow to make A-B testing, make in-app messaging, app in-app notifications, and other features. Leave the comment, please, why do you need Firebase? To add Firebase, let's create a new project in your Firebase. For this, go to firebasegoogle.com and here log in into your Google account and then go to console. Here we can add new project, enter your project name, for example, YouTube example, and then click continue. I recommend you to enable Google Analytics for this project because it's a very powerful tool for mobile apps. Because Google Analytics is a universal tool, but Firebase with Google Analytics it's more convenient for mobile applications only. Let's enable it and continue. Select your Google Analytics account. If you haven't it, create a new account and then select it. Click Create Project. Project is creating. Wait, please. Our new project is ready. Continue. Then we need to choose a type of our application. I choose Android app. And we need to add Android package name. It is in our build Gradle file. Let's create new project in Android Studio. Let's name it, for example, YouTube example to finish. And we have our unique package name copied and pasted here. We can add app nickname. It's optional. And register app. Let's set Google G Services JSON file now application for this download Google Services JSON. Choose our package. It will be our application package, then app. And here we save our Google Services JSON. It is in our package. Let's check it. Go to our project, choose project, then our package app and here we see Google Services JSON file which we download. It's good. Then press next and we can add Firebase SDK. We can add it manually or we can add it automatically. Press tools and select Firebase. We have Firebase Assistant here and we can Add analytics from here, choose your language, Kotlin, and we can connect to Firebase. But I prefer to add our Firebase and analytic SDK manually because here it is the newest code version and I prefer to use it. For this, we need to update our Gradle build file, project level. Let's copy it, go to the, our Android project, Gradle scripts, build Gradle project level, and here add before plugins our build script. Delete command rows, delete content copy row because it is not necessary. Delete content copy here, delete three dots. Delete comments, delete content copy. Let's update our Google Services version, change it. It's good. What else? And then we need to edit our build Gradle app level file. Choose our Kotlin language, copy plugin application, 
go to the build gradle model level and we see that we have this row. Copy Google Services plugin, paste it here and in dependencies import Firebase dependence and import Firebase analytics. It's good. Now let's sync this project. Let's see. Build successful. It's OK. Return to our Firebase. Press Next. And we are ready. Continue to the console. We see our project settings. Return to project overview. And if you also have your project, you can click here, then settings. And you are in project settings. Scroll down. And here you see your Google Services JSON and you see SDK instructions which you can correct in any time. Return in our application. Let's go to the analytics. Let's go to the real time analytics. And we see that nobody using our application. Return to our application and let's start it. Run our application to check how our Firebase work. Emulator is running. We see our sample application. We ran it. Return to our Firebase. And what we see? We see that we are in application. And when you will publish your application, you will see all users in your application. In real time, you will see all screens which users see, and it's very powerful, very good service for apps development. Go to Analytics, click Dashboard, and we see one user for the last 30 minutes. We can change dates, we can change reports, we can see user activity by cohort. It's very necessary for your application. We will total revenue. If we add add mob in our application, if you want to add a bit testing, add mob or other, you can return to our project tools, Firebase, and here we see instructions how to add any service, for example, cloud messaging, choose Kotlin, and here we see instruction for its part of Firebase. Leave the comment, please, why do you need Firebase? See other videos on the channel, subscribe to the channel, good luck and goodbye.